Welcome to today's session of Questions and Answers with Pastor Anthony, where your questions will be answered by what is written in the Word of God. Welcome to Question and Answers again this morning. Well, Pastor, we have a question for you. And it says, why doesn't God speak to us loudly like he did in the Old Testament? Yes, uh, that's another great question because uh, we know that God is the same. And if he's the same, in the Old Testament, he used to speak to people loudly and uh, there were spectacular things happening. How come they're not happening today? Well, you've got to understand, first of all, in the Old Testament, there were only a selected few who could be able to speak for God and a selected few who could be able to represent God. Everybody could not do that. Mm -hmm. But then in Hebrews chapter 1, verses uh, 1 and 2, the Bible says, God who at various times and in various ways spoke in the time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in this last day spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world. So here we are being told that God spoke to us in the previous time by prophets. But now in this new age that we are living in, he has spoken to us through his son. Mm -hmm. And therefore his son now is the one whom we should be listening to because his son is the word. And mm -hmm. therefore if God spoke to us through his son, then the son is the word because in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. So God speaks to us today by the word so that everybody has access to the word. Mm -hmm. And then his son also told us that we have an advantage that if he goes to the father, he will ask the father to send us a helper who will right. be with us and will be in us. And the helper in us and with us will be doing two things. Number one, he will bear witness with our spirit that we're the children of God. Right. Number two, he will lead us and guide us. And so now we understand that if we are expecting God to speak loudly to us, we are expecting an audible voice outside here to lead us and guide us onto what we need to do in life. But God has brought us to even a much better way whereby we don't need to be looking out there. We need to be looking on the inside. Read your Bible. And as you read your Bible, always consider that your Bible is God speaking to you. And then right. number two, pay attention to your spirit. Mm -hmm. What are you sensing in your spirit? Because whatever you sense in your spirit, you're being led by the spirit. Because the Bible says, as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So God has made it much more easier for us today in the New Testament, whereby we don't have to run out to somebody to tell us what God is saying. We don't have to stand out and wait for an audible voice to hear what God is saying. God is living right inside of us and we can hear him speaking to us through our spirit. And when we read the word, the word of God will also speak to us what God is telling us. And that is the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. We are born again. The spirit of God dwells inside of us. The New Testament, the spirit of God was not dwelling inside the people, but it will come upon them for a time of ministry. That is what makes all difference. And so now we can hear God from within us and walk and obey him that way. Perfect. Thank you so much for answering that. Yes, that's still a small voice yes. on the inside of us. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in for question and answers. Sub submit your question through the email and we'll answer that. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today and stay blessed.